this right here is my new air tank. It's actually a propane tank, old propane tank, that uh, I'm going to use as an air tank for my air compressor. What I've done, I don't know if you can see, let me get it scooted back so you can see here. Right down here is a uh, hole that I drilled and I filled it with water, let it sit, put some baking soda in it to try and remove some of that uh, pungent odor that came from the propane. Still has a little bit of odor to it. Hold on. Speaking of air compressor, that's why I need to do that. But anyways, I'm going to weld that up now, and I'm going to try and run it. It may, I may not be able to use it because the, the odor might, it may not go away. I may not be able to get rid of it, and I can't, you know, run my blaster and things like that and possibly contaminate uh, anything that I would blast with whatever that odor is that's in there. But the tank was free. It's a good sound tank. I figured that I would at least try it because I can't get it filled with propane uh, because they won't do it because the it's, it's age and the fittings and everything. So I figured I'd try it. And if it doesn't work out, um, well then I've got you know some steel that I'll cut up with one of the longevity plasma cutters that I sell uh, and uh, make some targets out of it. Uh, so anyways, that's what's going on here and I'll uh, probably throw a little uh, video up of me taking up the hole.
Well, as you can see, I am no professional welder by any means. But this longevity machine really does a good job, uh, contrary to my terrible TIG welding skills. Uh, this is a 160 amp machine, ACDC, high frequency. And uh, right now I've got it running on 220 power. Uh, and my rheostat control on the power, I've got it at 110 and it goes to 200 as far as on the dial on the pedal here for my control. Now this machine will allow you to switch your control to the panel and it also gives you the option to, instead of the pedal, you have a torch mounted device there. So anyways, um, like I say, it's only got to hold 150 PSI, it's going to do that and then some. Um, I just wanted to show the new air tank and show off the longevity welder. And uh, thanks for watching. If anybody's interested in any of the longevity products, uh, plasma cutters, TIG welders, MIG welders, generators, uh, they are extremely high quality machines. They are not like your Harbor Freight Specials. They are very, very good machines. Um, lots of features and they are very inexpensive. Uh, plasma cutters, they are phenomenal. This TIG machine is, I like this machine as good as any Miller or Esob that I've ever owned. Um, anyways, give me a give me a ring, drop me an email if you're interested. Uh, thank you. And I will end up, of course I'll cut that bolt off. This machine's just shy of seven hundred dollars. Hundred sixty amp ACDC uh, TIG. It also is a stick machine. It will weld stick on AC or DC. Um, it has pre-flow, post-flow, gas control, uh, adjustable clearance effect for your AC, and. Um, Man, is it a nice setup.